Do you feel like your friends don't want to hear you talk about God? Yeah, me too. Let's talk about it! Barry Smith here, author, husband, father, pastor of 25 years, and a guy who loves to talk about God with basically anybody who'll listen. I love to speak at churches and retreats, and I love to talk about God over a cold beverage or a fire pit. But if you're like me, I'm convinced that no one else really wants to hear about it. I'm guessing for most of us, our tendency is to think, well, since they don't look interested, they're probably not. Or since they don't look like they need anything, they probably don't. And since they look so happy and put together, they probably are happy and don't want to talk about it. They're not interested in what I have to say about God. Some people just don't seem to have any religious conviction, so they're probably not interested in anything that I have to say that deals with religion or Christian stuff. But what we don't see is the point of this video, and it's the second attribute about how God deals with runners in Jonah chapter 3. God is working behind the scenes. God is working behind the scenes. He's preparing their hearts. And we, most of the time, don't see that part of God's working. Look at Jonah chapter 3, verse 7. This is the proclamation he issued in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let people or animals, herds or flocks, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that we will not perish. Now, in the last video, we saw that God is a God of second chances for Jonah, for sure. And now we see that God was obviously working behind the scenes for the Ninevites to respond so overwhelmingly favorable towards God. And we also learn from Jonah's life that when we run with God instead of running away from him or even running to him, when we run with God, God puts us in places where he's already working behind the scenes to prepare that other person or people for our arrival, to share the good news of God. And when that happens, it's imperative that we make the most of those opportunities. Because listen, we have no idea what God is doing behind the scenes. Jonah hated the Ninevites, and just about everyone else did too. Jonah had been wronged by the Ninevites. They were so wicked and so far from God. Of all the people on earth, it's understandable that Jonah would think, surely these Ninevites were not going to accept God and his message to repent. After all, the Ninevites were the furthest out people out there. But God had been working behind the scenes in the hearts of a ton of people there. He seems to do that all the time. Sometimes it's through fear. Sometimes he's working on their hearts. Other times God uses the media or friends or whatever. For Jonah, God even worked through two plagues and an eclipse there in Nineveh. Preacher Andy Stanley tells a story of a business acquaintance that he knew who had nothing to do with Andy's church. They'd never even had a discussion about religion, the church, or anything spiritual. And this guy was kind of a bigwig, and they were finally getting to do something fun. Andy had several people praying for his meeting so that Andy could share the gospel with them. So Andy was all prayed up. His family and friends were all praying, and he was just looking for the opportunity at some point to bring up Jesus. Any open door, even a little one, would be fantastic. I mean, he's Andy Stanley, and he was so ready. So Andy picks this guy up at his house. The guy gets in the car and immediately says, I've really been thinking a lot lately about my mortality. Are you kidding me? That's awesome! Andy, here's your perfect opportunity, right? But Andy was so caught off guard by the guy's statement that he changed the subject. And this is the great Andy Stanley! It kind of gives me some hope along the way. Andy did eventually bring the conversation back to God, but what Andy didn't realize was that God was already working on that man's heart big time. To see that God was making him question his mortality was fantastic. God was working behind the scenes on his heart. You see, when you're running with God, it's an unbelievable duo because you and God can do anything. What happens for many of us is that we desire to share God with other people. We want to tell others about the gospel, and we even ask for that opportunity from God. We pray for it, and then when that opportunity arises, we freeze, we panic, we get scared. And that's when we've got to remember when we're running with God, He is the one working behind the scenes. He is the one that does the most important work. All we got to do is show up, look for it, and then jump on the opportunity. 
remembering it's not about us, our abilities, our hard work, or any of that in sharing the gospel. Dude, all Jonah did was say 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned, or basically repent for the end is near. Doesn't get much simpler than that. And a whole city, including its leadership, turned to God. That'd be great for Americans today. Think about that. It's not only huge, but remember, this is a super wicked city of Nineveh. Your friends aren't near as bad as the Ninevites. And even if they were, don't you think God can do some serious work on their hearts before you share the first word? Of course he can, and he will. In Jonah chapter 3, we've seen that God is the God of second chances, that he's working behind the scenes. And in the next video, we're going to wrap up Jonah chapter 3 with the most helpful of all messages for those who feel like they're too far away from God to have any real relationship with him. It's going to be great. And if you want to run with God, let me know in the comments below, and I'll pray for you. I really will. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps us get the word out. And seriously, folks, we need new subscribers. So if you like this stuff, subscribe and hit that bell so that you get every single week when we put these out. And also consider supporting us with a tip on PayPal or tax-deductible donation at youchoose.community. Those links are below. So right now, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, ding, because no doubt someone you know probably needs to hear this. Until next time, God bless. Thank you.